welcome to another episode of Storytime. Uh, today we're going to be reading A Seed is Sleepy. And as we read along, feel free to pause the video with your children and talk about all of the different seeds and plants that you find and maybe point out some of the ones that you've seen in your own yard or along nature walks that you've taken together. A Seed is Sleepy by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. A seed is sleepy. It lies there tucked inside its flower, on its cone, or beneath the soil, snug and still. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself too quickly. Most seeds sleep through a season or two, waiting for the warmer temperatures of spring, but some take their time. 10 years might pass before the bright red-orange seed of the Texas mountain laurel shows its purple blooms. A seed is fruitful. Ninety percent of plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they have found the right place to grow. would guess that a seed as small as a freckle would grow into the world's tallest tree? Only 10% of redwood trees begin as seeds, though most redwood trees spring from existing trees. A seed is naked, yes naked. Scientists call gynosperms seeds that aren't clothed in fruits, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. This is a redwood tree. There is a redwood forest in California. Seeds come in many sizes. The orchid seed is the smallest of all. There might be a million seeds in one pod. The seed of the coco de mar palm is the largest. It can weigh up to 60 pounds. This is an orchid pod that has a bunch of seeds and they're floating through the air. And this is the coco de mar, the largest seed in the world. A seed is adventurous. A 
it must strike out on its own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. A parachute of fine silky hairs can take a dandelion seed 100 miles from its parent plant. This is a dandelion seed and this is its parent plant right here. You'll probably see these out in your yard or along a nature walk. Drift seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. They have enough air inside to help them float and their thick protective shells keep out seawater. Look at this one. It's called a hamburger bean. Doesn't that look like a hamburger? I thought that was funny. A seed is inventive. To find a spot to grow, a seed must leap from its pod or cling to a child's shoestring or tumble through a bear's belly. How did the seeds get in his belly? I think he was eating some of these berries. A seed hopes to land where there's plenty of sunlight, soil, and water. These are different kinds of seeds. A seed is generous. It gives the baby plant, or embryo, a seed coat to keep it warm. It's a bean. Some of you have been growing beans and this is the cycle it takes and after four weeks it should look something like this and it will give us beans, more beans and pods. We have rice, a splash pine, after 15 years, let's find 15, 15 years, that's a splash pine tree. This tree starts as a seed, after one year, follow the line, a hundred years. The embryo's first meal comes from its seed leaves, or cotyledons. Seeds with one leaf, like corn, are called monocots. Seeds with two leaves, like beans, are called dicots. Some seeds are ancient. That means that they're very old. Not all seeds are eager to germinate. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. Wow. The oldest known seed to sprout came from an extinct date palm tree. After it was unearthed from a long ago king's mountaintop palace in Israel, a scientist planted it. Four weeks later, it sprouted. Wow. A seed is thirsty and hungry. Part of the seed, the root, feels the tug of gravity and digs 
down deep. Once a seed has shed its coat and drinks in the rain, the dew, and yesterday's icicles, it feasts on minerals in the soil. Another part of the seed, the shoot, is sensitive to light, so it reaches for the sun. A seed is clever. Plants make their own food from a process called photosynthesis. Inside plant leaves are cells containing chemicals that absorb sunlight. Light gives them energy they need to turn water and carbon dioxide, a gas in the air, into food. It knows to seek the sunlight, to push itself up, up, up through the soil, but it must wait a while before that happens. A seed is sleepy, but only until it has found a place in the sun and it has had its breakfast and a drink of water. Then a seed is awake. These are sunflowers. Some more seeds and plants to go over. Oh, this is what the Coco de Mar palm looks like. Do you see anything in here that you know? Oh, there's the redwood tree and a pumpkin. There's the dandelion with its yellow flower. That's the end, my friends.